Let's do our part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Hi there, my name is Brooke. Welcome to my homegrown national park. I made my homegrown national park in my backyard. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how we can create a homegrown national park on our patio or our apartment balcony. We can create a bird-friendly environment where we live, no matter the size of our space. When it comes to gardening on our balcony or patio, ask an adult if there are any apartment rules to follow and what kinds of materials are okay to use. After you figure out what you can use, it's time to get planting. I really like these planters because they make it possible to grow a variety of native plants. If you don't have space for a box like this one, consider a hanging planter. I made this one myself out of a plastic bottle. Planting native plants and flowers into pots can bring many benefits to visiting birds. They provide the kind of food that native birds really need, like seeds and insects. Make sure not to use pesticides to get rid of bugs. These chemicals can cause your feathered visitors to get sick. Many birds, including hummingbirds, will happily eat bugs that find their way onto plants. They actually need these bugs to raise their babies and to stay healthy. You can also set up some bird feeders. A hummingbird feeder is a great choice for an apartment. Birds love clean, fresh water. If you can, set up a bird bath or shallow water dish for them to enjoy. Add a couple sticks or rocks for them to perch on. It's important to keep bird feeders and bird baths extra clean with fresh food and water. You can put special bird-friendly stickers on the outside of your windows and glass railings to help birds see them better so they don't crash into them. You can also keep birds safe by keeping your cats or dogs indoors or on leashes. The final way to make a balcony or patio bird-friendly is to be mindful of lights both inside and outside the apartment. Leaving lights on all the time can confuse birds. Turning off lights when they're not needed can be a big help. Any of these methods can create a bird-friendly environment where you live, no matter the size of the space. When we bought this house, this backyard was only grass. We made the decision to transform our yard by planting native flowers, shrubs, and trees. And voila, we created our own homegrown national park. And you can do it too. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Go around, filling the air with beautiful sounds, picking up seeds, putting them down, helping flowers grow from the ground. Let's restore 20 million acres of nature's habitats. There are so many things that we can do.